Grew up as a, a hot rod kid back in the, in the mid 60s. Had my first Harley in 1973. I bought a Chuck's Harley Davidson Bloomington, Illinois in February. Had the honor of riding it home in the snow. And my mom and dad thought I was an idiot and then it proved out that they were right. This actually is a 2006 Vengeance Raven. Rick Allen is a drummer for Def Leppard. Uh, Rick's been a friend of mine for a long time. And I, uh, my goal, you know, he helps people all the time. I thought, you know what, I can help him out. I'll just make sure that we get him a trike and he can ride with me. I remember I had a, a, a Kawasaki motocross bike. Uh, fell off that many times um, and realized that I wasn't going to be a, a motocross rider. Um, but I guess drums was, uh, was the next best thing, you know? A lot of people helped me with it. Vengeance did. s and &S mystery rear uh, trikes. I mean, they donated the rear end of this thing because we really use it to draw attention to Raven Drum Foundation and to let Rick have a little freedom that he didn't have since his accident when he lost his arm. I promised him that it wouldn't look, number one, like your father's Oldsmobile and it would not have a Volkswagen rear end on it and that when we pulled in, no matter what chop or what builder was there, everybody would drop it and walk over and look at this thing. When you go to people like Rick does and sits down with a little kid that lost his leg and says, you're going to be the next rock star. Motorcycles have always been a part of my life in whatever shape or form. I worked with Rick with his Raven Drum Foundation and uh, do a lot of drum circles for healing. You know, I'm not a real excitable kind of guy and everything, but I get a little tear every once in a while when I'm at him watching the reaction. That, that people get when they're in there. Rick points out, you know, like when he would go to some of the prisons and do it, none of you guys get along, but you just did. You made a drum beat and everybody was on beat as a community, you know, and, and just start to go from there. The healing process, it's a spiritual thing. Somebody always asks for help and Rick, Rick's real powerful at getting that message across. And uh, now he's moved into doing a lot with the returning vets from, from Iraq and the results he gets in 60 minutes takes Walter Reed Hospital and those guys six months and they don't even achieve what he does. It's a powerful thing. You know what? This guy needs to be able to ride and enjoy that freedom. So, uh, well, if I'm going to get a bike, it's going to be this and we're going to do a trike and it's his. You know, I go ride it and show it off and he does and it's got something for my buddy to go ride with me. You know, he takes me out and we go on stage, listen to all that and listen to the power that's there of everybody, you know, and that, that feeling. And if I can make him feel that way, then it's good. Yeah.